So many of you know that I've managed to lose a significant amount of weight last year and also not just lose the weight but keep it till now. I promise I will share all the secrets and all my tips in a future video. Many of you have been asking that. I promise I'll do that. So subscribe. But I'll give you one tip today. I pretty much drink a protein shake every single day for the past one year and two months now. And the reason being, protein not only helps like build muscle with weight loss and all that, but also importantly, it helps with keeping you satiated. So I don't feel hungry throughout the day, and which means that I don't overeat and I don't eat crap. Hey Rach. Yeah. Do you know that we just hit 50,000 subscribers? I know. It's crazy. I can't even picture what 50,000 people look like. That would be enough people to fill up like a whole sports stadium. That's wow. You guys, thank you so much for all of your support and for subscribing. Whether you subscribed from day one and followed us through this journey, or just subscribed yesterday, you guys are all so supportive and we are so thankful and we love you so much. You wanna see something really special? What is it? Here, let me show you. Hold this. Okay. Meat. We're gonna have lots and lots of meat. <laughs> In the name of Brazilian Steakhouse. And it's a little bit more chewy. Never had a restaurant ever. Do it again. Finally found jeans that fit me. It's really, really hard to find jeans that fit me because I have a really weird size. I love that even back then you were still doing the camera hand thing. <laughs> that is hilarious. I completely forgot about these vlogs. Yeah, so that is our very first vlog. We shot that in uh, March 2018. Wow. I never posted it. No, it was it, so bad. It, the sound is absolutely terrible. Yeah, yeah. Wow, and the camera is so shaky. Yeah, so I shot it on my iPhone. I think it was an iPhone 6 maybe back then. I but think I, so, yeah. Yeah, but I plugged a little microphone on the phone. And uh, yeah, we held a little tripod that we hold back then. It's funny. I forgot we even made this one. Yeah, so it was two different vlogs. The first one was at the, the steakhouse, the steakhouse yeah. and the second one was a trip to San Francisco. The first one... I remember that one very clearly. Yeah, I remember that one very well too. And I was really proud of the video. I thought it was the best video ever. So the second video that we shot in San Francisco, the sound was so bad. I don't know what happened. The microphone wasn't plugged in correctly or it wasn't working or whatever. But I think 80% of the footage was like gone because of the sound. You guys would hear that. It was a horrible sound and I was so discouraged. And I don't know why. I just felt like after that, I, we just kind of quit. We yeah. stopped making videos. Uh, it never went online. But today... From the Kumar archives, you guys get to see them now. Our yeah. first vlogs. Never again. <laughs> play -doh, play -doh. Play -doh. So humbling looking at those videos and seeing how far we've come. And that now we actually have 50,000 subscribers. It's insane. Thank you guys. See, I've always thought that I'm the kind of guy that would never get scammed by scammers, right? You know, I've always got that. Calls from scammers, those emails, and so on. I easily would sniff them out and I would not even entertain them. But this time around, they hit me in the most vulnerable state. Uh, so you know we are a growing channel, right? We just hit 50,000 subscribers. Uh, we're in that emerging phase. 
So brands and companies have started to reach out to us wanting to work with us. And we've already set up from the beginning, we only work with brands and companies that we really, really believe in. So two weeks ago, a game developer reached out to me. Their email alliance was legit. They spoke proper English. Uh, and they had a very, very interesting proposal for me. So they wanted me to do a promo for an online RPG game that was about to launch soon. Back in the day, I used to play a lot of Dota and even Dota 2. And so generally, I got excited. I told them that I'll check out this game, and if I really, really like it, yes, we can work together with them and I will do the promo. The only sketchy part was the fact that they wanted to continue communication over WhatsApp. I thought this was fine because I know that a lot of business has been conducted over WhatsApp in other countries. And this is a German game developer. And so we negotiated on a price. They offered me a certain amount of price, I asked for a different amount, we went back and forth, eventually we nailed on a price that we both agreed on. So I would first have to test the game out and see if I liked it. If I did, I would need to record myself giving a feedback about the game and sharing two or three lines about what the game is all about. So he sends me the game to download and install, which I did. I know, crazy, right? But the game never worked. That was my saving grace. He kept sending me more and more instructions on how to fix the problem, which I tried and tried, but the game never worked. And at this point, the responses started getting slower and slower and more delayed. And now I started getting suspicious, maybe this is a scam. So I go to the game's official website and I reach out to the contact person on there and explain my situation like, hey, someone had reached out to me from your company, is this legit? And they immediately told me, no. Nobody from their company has reached out to anyone. They don't have this sort of agreement with anyone. They don't work with YouTubers. And I panicked. I'm like, what do these scammers want from me? You know, I downloaded and installed something on my laptop. I'm freaking out. You know, they could be spying on me. They could be stealing my information. So I go immediately on my laptop. I wipe everything out. I download antivirus software. I download malware removal software and I clean out everything. But I wasn't at peace. I really wanted to know what the scammers wanted from me. So I pretended as if the game worked, I enjoyed the game, and I've already recorded my feedback video. And so I told the guy that and asked him, hey, where should I upload the video? Now he gets super happy, super excited, and starts responding even quicker, and gives me all his instructions on where to upload the video. At this point, I realized that the scam is definitely about money. It's a traditional scam. As soon as I sent him the video, he would send me a large amount of money, way more than what was agreed upon initially, and he'll ask me to return the remainder of the money from the large amount. And what would happen is that he would have sent me money from a stolen credit card or something, and when it gets reported, the bank would return the money from my account back to the original person that was stolen from, and I would lose the money that I sent to him. It's a typical scam. Although nothing was actually taken from me, I still do feel scammed. These scammers stole my time, my energy, time and energy that I could have put into creating more content or even just spending time with my family. See, I really hate scammers. The essence of what they do is they steal other people's hard work and success and they try to make it their own. If you're a scammer and you're watching this, my message to you is 